So this is going to be a series of 25 videos where we focus on each individual artist from this uh, drawing here. You've got Tamikazo Kamiya, uh, Uyama, and my favourite here, which we're starting with today, which is Soso. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Soso, as an artist, has uh, recently produced this puzzle. Look how beautiful this is, um, a thousand piece puzzle. And one of the things that draws my eye to them, and as I said, they're my favourite artists, but what, one of my things that draw my eye to them is the light colours, the almost watercolour textures. I just think it's absolutely stunning. And, and one of the artists that, to me, really stands I want to start by saying I'm going to have for most of these cards the English like this and the Japanese so I'm going to sort of cycle between the two and you can pick which you prefer this isn't really a video to show you that the Japanese is better or the English is better it's just to show you what the artwork looks like on both um, personally I prefer the Japanese but they, uh, the English is great as well for me the reason for that is because the yellow border I think takes away from the artwork whereas the silver border brings out the artwork but I'll leave that up to you so going into Inke the second one in the series this is the the second card they ever um, designed which is back in 2018 um, again I think is I, I just love seeing the brush strokes um, I think it's really cool I think it's by the end of this video you'll understand that it's quite a uh, distinct artwork and, and sort of feel to it um, the Cubone look it's got a tear in his eye can you see the tear in his eye looking up at the clouds thinking of its mother I think it's I think it's one of those like story type cards um, it has actually got quite a lot of emotion and I think that's one of the things for me that um, so so brings is this playfulness is this storytelling and for me I think as you can see in this Chikorita card there's just a bit of action but it's quite playful it's quite childlike which takes it back to that puzzle where for me it's like a kid's puzzle like they're kids pictures and and to me it's it takes me back to when I was a kid starting to collect Pokemon it's this type of artwork that would have certainly caught my eye and still does to this day. So it's, it's, it's awesome. A look at this Victini coming down from the sun, breaking through the clouds. So cool, so cool. This Slow King as well is, is awesome. It's like conjuring up a spell. I think it's really, really cool. Or maybe opening some sort of gate. I, I, I'm not sure. Comment below if you do know, actually. Hitmon Top is, again, super playful, man. I, I just love how it's... At the top of a tree, balancing on it. like every time you see him on top, it's spinning on its head, right? At the top of a tree, how much how much more fun can you have as a kid? But it's, it's really cool. Stumpfisk, <laughs> I, I quite like the Stumpfisk. I think in this one because it's yellow, I prefer the yellow border. Maybe and that might be a bit controversial uh, for for my own mind, really. But you know, there we go. And again, the, the use of like elements I think is quite cool. Like in that Chikorita card, there was uh, elements of wind. Here you've got the water going through. I think in the bubbles around his mouth, in the uh, Cubone card, you have the tear in his eye. Like little things like that to me, I think is, is a really nice detail. But so even here, like you've got the Porygon 2, literally in space, in a kid's bedroom maybe. Almost like you know, what they got when, when you're a kid and you've got the things dangling down and you've got the music going. I think that's uh, that kind of vibe, right? Then you've got the Glamiel playing with the Finneon uh, fish, like soft toy, I'm hoping. But you've even got, even, look at this in the detail on there. Even on the pot, you've got an Oddish on there as well. Like, it, it, I, I don't know, I just think it's it's like a nice deep way of looking into it. You've got the Haunted House there with a the Litwick. Well, I didn't have that in Japanese, actually. Although I have seen it, I think. Unless it was a English. Some of these are English only, and some of these are Japanese only. There's like a handful of each, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The Magnemite's pretty cool, looking like it's on a bit of a scrapyard, maybe. Uh, is that a Charger Bug next to it? I'm not sure. I know one of these cards is a Charger Bug, so I'm not sure if that is one. Uh, maybe not, but even like, look at this Jinx, like the, the magic coming from it, like coming from its hands as well. It's, it's kind of looks like you've just caught it doing something, but also quite magical. But Jinx is always one of those for me that's uh, a bit odd, a bit, bit odd, but that's fine. The Dragonair card is probably one of the most liked cards and that most people sort of warm towards, I guess. We, we, pull, we pulled it quite a lot in the Japanese sets and it's, it's definitely one of the fan favourite favourites. Munchlax as well, absolutely wicked. Kind of, kind of been caught taking the berries but almost kind of looking at like, uh, is it alright? Like, do you mind? <laughs> I don't know, that's what I feel on that one. 
I love that Chancy here is going to go and water the plants and it's got his own little squirtle watering can next to it as well. I think it's genius. I think it's really cool, really cute. Makes sense because squirtle, right? So yeah, I think that's a, a very clever one. Tropius, again, looking quite majestic, quite big. There's quite a lot of like leaves and nature within these cards. I don't know if you guys noticed that too, but I, I, I love how the greens in it really, really match nicely with the actual card and the leaves as well. It's, it's quite a nice thing there. Um, the Snow Run, I think, is one of my favourites, like top five so-so cards, because you've got that frozen Pikachu at the side, or the Snow Pikachu, or the Snowman, or whatever's going on there, to me, is one of, like, whenever I pull this card, I'm always looking like, ah, oh, yes, we've got it again, like, it's it's really cool, I love it. Toji Tomorrow, I love this card again, sitting on the moss, I think it's quite cool, like, quite nature, um, again, probably better with the yellow border. Maybe it's just because the electric, I'm not sure, but yeah, my, my, my guys are going to kill me for saying that. Here is the Curlia doing some ballet. I was going to I was gonna do a pirouette and no, I wasn't because I can't. But this is quite a cute looking card, right? Uh, where you've got the two different types of Curlia here. It's pretty, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a pretty card. It's quite a pretty card. This Trap Inch card has literally got no elements whatsoever, so no water. It's just literally there like, just, just a little bit of water. <laughs> Rosalia again, very pretty. Works so well with it being with the, the flowers and the nature. Makes sense, makes a lot of sense. Again, another one of the cards where there's a Pokemon in the background, so you've got Diglett just popping up on the Skoruppi here. Um, I think it's I think it's quite a, a cool one. It's like you Skoruppi's like heard something but doesn't know where. It's like, what is that? Diglett's blind him up. It's just me, mate. Just just popped in for a cup of tea if, you know, if, if you're alright. Jumpy son of a gun. <laughs> Mincino, Mincino. Again, have a look in the detail there. At the back right hand corner, you've got a Voltorb just chilling in the basket of Pokeballs. Like, this level of detail is so nice. You've got the, are they Christmas lights on the tree? I'm not sure. Really, really smart. You've got the Clefairy card here. What is it standing on? Like, is it like an iceberg or something? It looks like it's on water, but also like some sort of mountain. So I'm not really sure what this, what's happening here, but. It's quite a beautiful card, like the purples are perfect, like the pinks and purples perfectly match the actual colour of the card, whether it be in English or not. Again, the silver board is way better. Got the scum tank here. But I always feel a bit weird when there's like an evolution of a Pokemon, when I think that the Stunky should have been drawn by the same artist as well. I always, uh, most of them aren't, but I would like to see it on, uh, on both. You've then got the Mareep. I quite like this as well. This is like... Either it's a giant Mareep, which I don't think it is, <laughs> or it's, uh, it's it's just a nice little perspective where it's just like at the top of the hill, it's like, hello mate, can I have a photo? Oh, yeah, cool, come up here, give us a quick <laughs> quick stare, and uh, off you go, go on. <laughs> I think it's quite nice. Here we go with the Gotharita, again with all the flowers, I really like it. It would be cool if one of those was like a vile plume, maybe. That would be quite cool. Maybe there are signs there that one of them is, maybe near its feet, maybe, I don't know. But um, and another really nice one with like a, a cool sunrise, sunset maybe, a bit of dusk time going on there. Purloin, really, really cool. Quite a staple card, pulled this so many times, it's, uh, it's a bit silly. But it's, uh, it's cool. I, I, I love having like one of my favourite artists being the artist of a lot of common cards. I think it's really, really cool. This Tynamo, again, is one of those that's, that's pops up a lot. And then we've got the Giraff... Giraffarig? It's easy for you to say. Giraffarig? Giraffarig? Giraffarig. <laughs> easy for you to say, mate. But again, a wicked card. Lots of... Um, it looks like it's in Africa or somewhere, maybe. But lots of greenery. And again, the clouds are looking awesome in that card. Crocorot is ready. Another one is a bit like Marie. Ready for my, I'm ready for my photo shoot. Hurry up now. I've got things to do. Like, <laughs> looks like he's about to go and rob a bank. Uh, then we've got the Chikorita again. Um, I put this in here because it's got the 25th stamp on. So it is part of the celebration set. So it is a newer card compared to the other ones. But again, they use the same artwork, which is uh, interesting. Then you've got the Tootle, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I quite like it. Again, it's quite a playful card, quite a, a fun card. One of those ones again for kids maybe where it's literally just hanging off the reeds and just just being a just being a kid so we've got a spinner rack here uh, i couldn't find this in japanese um i'm sure i've seen it but it might, might have been in english um so if anybody has seen the other spinner rack let me know uh, but it's a, another card you've got the water drop is that i think it's just hanging off on the bottom left 
just hanging off of the grass there, so that's quite cute. Okay, so this next one is Bunnelby, and it's really cool because this is an English exclusive, it's a promo card, and I just think it looks wicked. Um, I've put in on the next card a Tamukazu Kamiya version that I kind of see like a link between that and this. Uh, maybe it's inspired by that, the, the sort of um, abstractness of that card. Let me quickly show you that. So this is the Tamikazu card. There's no other artist in this video apart from this card. But, and Tamikazu is actually in the other videos coming up. So uh, there is a reason for that. But um, I think it's kind of Alice in Wonderland vibes and kind of Tamikazu Kamiya uh, vibes in there as well. Okay, so you've got three cards coming up now. You've got the Yampa, which is the shining, uh, baby shiny, maybe what the people call it. The Yampa, which I think is really, really nice. And it's cool that Soso actually got to create three of these because there's no, in these, there's no background. So they get just the artwork of the actual Pokemon. So I think this is quite a playful one. Again, it's like literally running away. It's almost like you throw the ball and it's looking over its shoulder. I think it's really cool. And then we've got the Galarian Yamask. And again, is is really, really cool. I, 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 I quite like these three because it's sort of off the beat, like the puzzle, like off the beaten track of what they normally do. And the majority of their artwork is inspired by the background, you know, in, influenced by the background, that I actually quite like these for being different. And then you've got the Q Fant, which is the third of the shiny bolts, the baby shinies, uh, which again, it looks super playful, right? Really, really nice. Then we're going into the Shinx, and I guess he's, he looks confident. He doesn't look like he's falling down the stairs. He looks like he's doing handstands walking down the stairs, which is just nuts. But proper, like, kids would do, right? You'd try it, right? <laughs> so we've got the Rengeki stamp on there, which is the rapid strike symbol. But again, it's a, a really nice uh, really nice artwork with some cool stuff in the background. We've got Hon Edge here, and I'm trying to look to see if there's any other Pokemon in the background. I don't think there are. but. A cool one again at the bottom of a tree looking pretty, pretty mighty. Then we're going into the rainy cast form again, another element. You've got the actual rain coming across this card as well. Again, you've got all the flowers and the looking sort of up to the rain. So he's getting sort of power from it raining, which uh, which again looks just majestic in the Japanese. We've got the crustal here. Can you see, is there a trap inch in the background? Is that uh, any other fossils that you can kind of recognize there? Maybe, maybe not. But again, a just a, a clever use of the card. So you've got the actual the layers on the Pokemon and then in the background on the wall you've got all the fossils as well. I think it's brilliant. I think it's really, really clever. Uh, this is one of the only hollow ones. So in the English, this is what the card looked like. And then in the Japanese, you've got the hollow here. So it's the hollow on the outside and hollow in the middle. Um, but I think it's a, a pretty cool card either way. Um, so let me know in the comments if you prefer the non-holo or the holo version. Next up we've got Chinchu. Chinchou? Chinchu? I said Chinchu. I think it might be Chinchou. We'll go with Chinchu. Uh, why not? Again, let me know in the comments if I'm spelling that, pronouncing that wrong. Again, this one is an electric type Pokemon, but I love that it's shown in the water. I think it looks wicked. I think, again, you've got the snow coming down um, and it's, it looks quite cold. It looks really cold, but it's keeping warm with the electricity, which is which is pretty cool. Now we've got the Galarian Slowpoke. Look at this. Again, like some of their cards, so Soso -so does, as you've seen, a lot of cards where the Pokemon are in the background. This one, the three of them are just absolutely loving life. Like, it's a really cool card. You've got the gym promo uh, stamp on the right-hand side of the Japanese as well. So it's nice to see this turn out as a Japanese promo as well. Then we're getting a bit more modern, and we're going into the Espion V. And how cool is this? So look at the books. Even the design on the books, you've got... Um, what well you got? You've got Ditto and Eevee on the two books near the middle and bottom. Is that a cast, sunny cast form? Is that a lunar turn? Like, Soul Rock maybe? How cool is this? What a really nice card. Again, in Japanese, uh, just looks amazing. Really, really, really smart. Then you've got the Mario card. Again, in water with plants around. Real, real consistent theme here. And again, for me, uh, this card this card is one of the cards that you we pulled a lot, you know. Pulled a, um, so it's quite nice to see these cards popping up frequently whilst we're doing box breaks and things. But it's also quite nice to come back to them and see them in English because I only do Japanese anyway. But um, to see them in English again, I think that yellow looks good on there, but the silver looks better on the rest. Um, and I, I love, like I've said it before, but I love how even this Mankey is 
intertwined with that background, well in that background, is part of the background. I'm not sure, if anybody knows what this is, the Tyranitar down at the bottom here, the stamp down at the bottom, I, I don't know what that is. Um, so if somebody can tell me that, that would be really cool. Uh, the Galarian Linoon, kind of like on his soapbox, right? Try, kind of like telling his story to the to the town folk. Then you've got the Impedim, which to me is telling like ghost stories, right? There's like shadows and stuff. And the Larvatar toy has just gone, what? I don't know how, maybe the, Maybe the Impidimp has done some magic and it's pushed it back, but I love the use over the recent years of that Larvatar toy. There's a Meowth card, there's like four or five cards with that Larvatar toy in. I think that's awesome that it looks like that. Then my favourite card. As you can see, I love Gengar, right? It's my, if you can see my mat here, it's two meet, uh, it's a metre and a half long. It's massive, just Gengar's face. This is the pinnacle for me of cards drawn by Soso. Absolutely amazing. I hope Soso gets more cards like this, full art cards. It would be amazing. Uh, then go back into a Karen Blast for this year. This was a 2022 card. Brand new, really. Popping out of a tree. Why not? Why wouldn't you be popping out of a tree? Then you've got the Al Creamy. Now, the Al Creamy, there's two versions of this card. You have this version of it, where it's in in and around the cafe. You've got the cafe, one of the cafe guys there. You've got the trees here. It, it makes sense, right? The baker shop, everything's there. Then there's an Okacheki artwork and they've made it into a full art version as well. And in the Japanese set, these two, these two cards are in the same set. So this is the base card, this is the character rare. So to me, I wanted to include this because it's, it's a really nice way that two of my artists kind of work together in a sense. Then you've got the Gibble card. Now, I always see this card and I think, huh, there's no flowers. There's a good atmosphere, but actually, there's coal. It's like in a working environment. This is really cool. It's quite a nice, nice change, I guess. But yeah, I think it looks really cool, where it's like looking up, the, the leading lines are going up to that top corner, um, where everything else is sort of going up to as well. You're kind of wondering what is going on at the top there, on this conveyor belt, what are they extracting um, from the mines? It's, it's, it's nice. Then you've got the Rowlet, which is a promo card, an English promo card. Um, again, standing on a tree, kind of, kind of looking a little tired, really. But I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's one of the only ones that's a promo in both, so in English and Japanese. You've got a Combi card, which is probably one of my favourite most recent cards for sure. Like, again, it's really playful. It's nature, it's happy. Look how happy the three of those faces are. Even the ones in the background are super happy. The one at the bottom, though, in the middle, look how happy that is. It's just like, we found pollen! We can make some honey. It's really, really cool. Then this card is quite interesting because the English is uh, is the Eevee, as you can see. This one comes actually in Time Gazer and Space Juggler. But it's the same card, the same artwork, and it just says S10D and S10P. So it's in both. It's the only card that we've had for years now that's in two sets, identical card in two sets. Because you've got the Leafy and you've got the Glaceon. So it's useful in both, but it's, it's interesting that they use the so-so artwork for both. Then you've got the new Pokemon Go set that came out well, actually, it depends when you're watching this, but in 2022. Um, so this is the Bulbasaur. We've also got the Squirtle. And I was so excited to see these two. And I was like, come on, get my boy Charmander. Come on. So, so didn't do the artwork for Charmander. But we have these two. We do have these two. And they are wicked. I'm very happy seeing these two. They are very, very nice. It's a bit odd that they didn't do all three, but what can we do? Then we're getting to the end now, so we've got this Phalanx card that I've only seen in Japanese and it's in the Lucario V-Star deck. I think it's one of my favourite artworks. So I said the a couple of others are my favourite. I think this is top five of So-So artworks. I think it's awesome. You've got different characters within one Pokemon, right? It's all joins together. I think it's wicked. Then you've got this new promo card, this Pikachu promo card that is just ridiculous. It is so cool. It's kind of like the mother or father figure looking after the baby, oh, it's a mother because it's got the curved tail, but looking after the babies back home and going out foraging and getting some stuff and the babies just playing with each other and just fighting maybe. Really, really cool. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and tune in for the next one.